Why is it important to train community leaders? The massage that I go to doesn't have a true leadership. There's no one to lead these individuals. People are not learning about the religion. They're just moving along with their life and not growing, not being who they can be. We need role models for us to emulate, for us to look towards and guide us, because without them, you have the society we have around us today that seems to be diluted and lost. People who are dealing with all different kinds of struggles, people who want to learn about their faith. So we need this demographic to help provide such a dire need in the community. And looking for those role models for us. So if we can train them internally with the tradition, then we'll be better for it. Why is it important to have physicians? Why is it important to have lawyers? Why is it important to have engineers? There is no specialty without a leader not necessarily religion. You have a huge company, you have to have a CEO. These groups or these niches are able to provide in fulfilling a need of our society. The need that is there for a physician to help is medical support. Leadership is about influencing people. It's about being able to persuade people, to convince people. So training leaders, whether the leaders of the masajid, whether it's the leaders of the schools, whether it's the leaders of the organizations, is extremely, extremely important. They are the face of the community and integral parts that have access to all walks of life. Without them, where are people going to go for their faith? We're a relatively young community here, and a lot of the resources that perhaps our parents or grandparents or generations prior don't exist for us. And oftentimes, a unit is only as strong as its leadership. And so if you try to simply reach communities without making sure that the leadership itself is properly equipped, then you leave that vacuum unaddressed. Very few of us are able, or Allah gave them the ability to lead. And those leaders, the few of them, can move a whole nation. And the best example is Rasul Rasul. Students learn from, not from books, they learn from teachers. They lead by example. They have the knowledge and they have the practice. It's a responsibility, it's an amana. So that when they are put in positions of leadership or to make decisions for the Muslim community, they're doing so based on proper knowledge. Everything we have now as a Muslim community in SoCal or in America or really across the world is because someone before us laid down the foundation. Uh, and we can't expect that we will be here forever because we won't. There always has to be a shepherd that's guiding the flock who are grounded in Islamic studies, who are grand, grounded in their understanding of Islam, but they also understand society. In the Muslim community that we have, we have such a wide variety and diversity of skill sets, talents, and different things and unique aspects that make every single individual special. It is so important for us to have community leaders so that we can utilize everybody's unique skills and special talents to serve the community at large. To be able to train leaders is to be able to carry on the torch from one community to the next. Every single prophet that came to a community was from that community. And this is why I feel it is necessary for us to train community leaders as imams, as khatibs, as du'at for our families and communities here in Southern California. And that's what uh, we aspire to do here at IOK.